our viewer question today um, is what are your feelings about including plant-based oils in your diet? Plant-based oils. Um, we've pretty much gone oil-free in our house and don't miss it at all. And there are some good medical reasons uh, why you might want to tilt uh, in that direction. And I'll share those with you. Um, and my main concern is about the way people use these oils. They're a processed food, they're natural. They, no other animal crushes the fat out of olives and pours it on its food there. I mean, it is liquid fat in the bottom. And the uh, people who have concerns about it cite a couple of reasons. One, uh, as it, <clears throat> well, let me let me take it way back here. Um, I'm not against fats. We need fats. We need fats. You need them for your hormones, for your skin oils. They're essential nutrients. Um, the issue is when you eat a walnut or you eat a piece of avocado or a piece of coconut, the micro, micro droplets of coconut oil, walnut oil, uh, avocado oil are firmly bound to the fiber of the walnut, of the avocado, of the coconut. And when you chew it up and eat it, um, it takes hours for the digestive enzymes to get down into the piece of coconut or piece of walnut, start loosening the uh, carbohydrate bond with that little uh, micro droplet of oil and then the lipases have to come in and emulsify it and, and as a result the amount of actual oil that gets into the bloodstream is a small amount rises very slowly one pass through the liver pretty much gone they don't have a big pharmacological effect in the body they find their way into tissues and your body puts it to good use so i'm all for a handful of walnuts or even a piece of coconut as a treat that's okay but when you crush the fat out of coconuts and walnuts and avocados and olives. Uh, and this, and you pour in, you know, Mediterranean diet, you pour a half a cup of olive oil on your cell and your pasta, et cetera, thinking it's heart healthy. At that point, nothing slows down the absorption of that fat. It leaps into the bloodstream. You get actual liquid oil floating in your bloodstream. And it starts having pharmaceutical effects uh, it, as it flows along the inner lining of the, uh, the arteries and works its way in there and it paralyzes the inner lining cells, the endothelial lining cells. Uh, so they lose their ability to create nitric oxide and, uh, and dilate and uh, 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 help the artery function as it should. Uh, there are studies that show that. There are some studies that show that they go, oh, this is right down the line there. But the heavier oils, no question, uh, they certainly seem to be uh, unfriendly to artery functioning. But they may interfere with blood clotting. Uh, they may uh, 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 increase the risk of cancer growth in that they um, these polyunsaturated fats make cell membranes unstable. It's a really unnatural food. And it's it, it, medically, nutritionally, it's in the who needs it category. And uh, why would you really add this to your, to your food? And certainly in volume, uh, as people pour it out, uh, that I think is, is very inappropriate. That said, a couple of drops of sesame oil in, a, in an Asian stir fry, just for flavoring, it's not going to cause any adverse effect. A teaspoon of olive oil sprayed onto your lettuce in a salad, probably benign. So if you're using, a, you're using tiny amounts for flavoring, okay, um, that's an appropriate use for these oils. Um, but I certainly wouldn't call them heart healthy, and I would really uh, caution against using them as a, uh, uh, as, as a major ingredient in any sauce or uh, a topping. And when you stop using these oils, the food tastes so much better. Now, I, I used to be a big fan of, of stir frying my veggies and oil and all that stuff. Everybody did. But when you stop doing that, oh, man, you really start tasting the, the vegetables themselves. And my wife and I were out in a restaurant a few months ago. 
and uh, uh, and a side dish of ooh sauteed vegetables ooh nice sauteed vegetables well it didn't dawn on us they were sauteed in oil and when the wait person brought them out they were dripping with oil we couldn't eat we took one bite couldn't eat it and it was one of those can't believe we ever ate our food like that so I will uh, invite people to, to go oil free now you can stir fry veggies in anything that's wet vegetable broth um, a, uh, you can you can buy boxes of vegetable broth at the store, but you can make it yourself. But but even you know, if you made vegetable soup, a couple of tablespoons of the vegetable soup broth into the pan there, you just chop up an onion really finely and start sauteing it. It gets all wet and juicy and throw your veggies into that. Uh, anything wet will work. Uh, you, you don't need oil and the invitation is to go oil free. I think you'll be healthier and uh, uh, for it and more enjoying your food. So that's what I feel about the oils. Good question, very important these days. Thank you. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.